Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am using the Yeti to Party stamp set and new coordinating dies. Stampin' Up! has brought out some additional dies uh, for stamp sets that don't already have dies and this is one of them and I love it. Um, I already loved this stamp set and so now that we have dies it just makes it even better so i'm going to share with you a card that i made actually for a swap for an event that i was at in um late august okay so the first thing i think we'll do is we'll stamp i'm going to use uh basic white and we're going to stamp this yeti with memento black you know i had to kind of do a little google search to see exactly what color a Yeti should be. In my mind, I was thinking he was all white. Wasn't quite sure. <laughs> Wanna make sure I get it right. Um, mostly I was right. I did find that um, some versions are a little bit bluish too. So, you know, I don't think Yetis are real, but you can make your Yeti however you want. I don't think anybody's going to <laughs> necessarily correct you. Okay, we're going to color his just inside his face right here with light pool party. Um, I tried to use light uh, Tahitian Tide because that's the DSP that I'm using right here. Um, but honestly, I didn't like it. It wasn't quite right. So that's why I switched over to pool party. All right, I'm also going to add a little bit of color to his horns there. All right, you can come in a little bit around here just to add some shadow. All right, now for those two presents, I'm gonna use Polished Pink and Tahitian Tide. This stamp set, in my mind, was a Christmas stamp set, and it does have this Christmas sentiment, um, but it has non-Christmas sentiments as well. So it will get a lot of use, I think, not just during the holidays. Um, I will have a total of four Yeti projects this week on my blog, three for Facebook Friday, and a bonus one on Monday. So make sure you hop over to my blog and check them out. All right, let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. We're going to do our die cutting, and then we're also going to do some embossing. All right, so of course our Yeti has a matching die, which is always wonderful. I can get it on there, right? And then we've got a matching die for our gifts as well. Let's see, I'm gonna stand up to make sure I get these in the right place. All right, let's put our clear plate down, run that through, and then we'll run it through one more time with our other present, if I don't lose the die before then. I went with some kind of fun, bright colors. I wanted this to be a fun, cheerful card. And I, I'm not ready to use Christmas colors yet. <laughs> and I think this guy is more fun with these bright colors. Um, I'm using in colors, actually. Polished Pink, Tahitian Tide, and um, the purple is our new um, Orchid Oasis color. All right. Oh, now before I put this away, let's take off these plates. We're going to take off all three of the top plates and we're going to bring over our whimsical woodland embossing folder. I had to label it because I could not remember the name. It just, for some reason, it was, my mind was having a mental block every time I tried to say the name. So I just labeled it. All right, we're gonna put that in here, put on our top gray plate. This is plate number four right here, and that's what you use with your, your um, 3D embossing folders. And notice that, that we have that line right there that helps you line up your paper so that you get it straight. Okay, so now your, your embossed piece has a raised side and it has um, a debossed side where the image is pushed down. For this card, I'm gonna use the debossed side. I kind of like that. And uh, I think we'll leave that as the, the one that's facing up. 
All right, I'm gonna put some stamp and seal and we're gonna put this on a half of a sheet card base. This is polished pink. I just took a, a full sheet of cardstock and cut it right in half at four and a fourth and then scored it at five and a half. I have cut three pieces of paper. The first one is polished pink um, and this one is Tahitian Tide, both from the in color packs, uh, in color DSP packs. And then this is our um, Orchid Oasis glimmer paper. We have in color uh, glimmer paper as well. So I'm just going to kind of put these on at random. Let's see, do we want to use the dots or the plaid? We'll use the dots. Just kind of crisscrossing a little bit like that. Now we have all kinds of fun accessories for our Yeti. You can see we've got a present, ice cream, I mean all kinds of things. And of course we have the dies that cut them out. But we also have a scarf die right here, which isn't a stamp, it just cuts out the die. And I have already done that. Adds a little bit of texture to it. So we are going to adhere that onto our Yeti. Right there, and that's polished pink. All right, and then I'm gonna get my dimensionals and we're gonna put this guy on the right side of our card like this. Make sure his scarf isn't over the edge or he won't fit in your envelope. All right, now I'm gonna take my glue again and I'm gonna adhere that Tahitian Tide present like that and then use a dimensional on the back of the other one and have it kind of like that. Now I have already cut out a stitched banner. This, is, this, this shape is from the Stylish Shape dies and I'm gonna stamp our sentiment in Orchid Oasis as well. It's a beautiful purple and I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the left side and have that kind of overlapping him a little bit like that. All right, last but not least, as Stampin' Up! is known, we have color coordination across the board. So we've had our Island, our Orchid Oasis, Glimmer Paper, Ink, DSP, and now I'm going to add a few Orchid Oasis dots if I don't pull them off of their adhesive. <laughs> there we go. Behave, little dots, behave. All right, I'm using my take your pick tool and I'm just gonna add a couple of these around. Let's see, I think I need a little bit of new putty. This guy's kind of like, I'm tired of working. Throw me away already, I'm so bad about that. All right, one last one right there. All right, and there is your fun Yeti Christmas card in non-traditional uh, colors. Now make sure you hop uh, back to my blog, use a link here on YouTube, it will take you back to my Facebook Friday post where there is a free PDF. It has all the measurements and the complete supply list as well as two other Yeti to party projects. All right, everybody, thanks so much, bye-bye.